Recent cases of children being struck by lightning here in Central Florida is raising safety concerns. Our Scott Heidler spoke with an emergency management official on what you need to do to keep you and your family safe. With storm season here and with July 4th weekend kicking off, experts say it's important to be thinking about lightning safety. I would fully anticipate that over the weekend you're going to hear more booms than just fireworks. So, you know, we certainly encourage people to be uh, aware of their surroundings, what's happening with the weather. And to know where your nearest cover is, where you can seek shelter. You know, be weather conscious, uh, you know, have a place to go if it starts to rain, whether it's in your car or indoors somewhere. And avoid being near trees, power lines, and poles. If you are in an open field, get as low as possible. In just the last few weeks, there have been two cases of lightning hitting and injuring people in Central Florida. One on Merritt Island. Two young girls were injured when lightning struck a tree while they're in a front yard on June 10th. One rushed to the hospital unresponsive. She's still recovering. And like the case just this week in Hillsborough County, a boy was hit by lightning near a boat ramp. It was not even raining. The slogan the National Weather Service uses uh, when it roars, go indoors. In Bavard County, Scott Heidler, West 2 News.